Hi everyone, I'm Dawn Monroe. I've got a tip for you today on Outlook calendars, and this is something you do with your, your Microsoft 365 Outlook version on the web. You can add different calendars pretty easily. I'm going to show you some that are set up ready to go. So here on Outlook on the web, I can click Add Calendar, and there are a lot of ways to add other calendars. If someone gives, a, gives you a link, you could do that. Um, a few that you might want to explore are these like um, sports and, and uh, different things down here. If you had a team that you wanted to add, you search around for it, for instance, here we go, and I can um, go ahead and click through and add these. This is a great time, right, with um, with your tournament time, right? So you'd go ahead and find your team, and let's find, let's see, oh, it may be easier to search it, so Kansas, and there we go, Kansas Jayhawks, and we can add them in. And so I simply do that, and then I can uh, close this up, and I'll see that I'll have that calendar now added. There it is, Kansas Jayhawks. So now I can see all those uh, games are on my calendar and populated. Now, a, a, a while back, Microsoft had the schools listed when you did add calendar one of the options was schools and so i wrote an article and now they took it off so i wanted to show you if you wanted to try to add a school calendar you could go to your local school website and dig around a little bit now what you want is not the download pdf of the school calendar what you want is the the digital calendar let me take a step back you want the digital calendar that is active and someone's updating it and what you're looking for is the subscribe many websites too have a google calendar for events or another kind of calendar so you're looking for those subscribe buttons when you get those what you'll do is jump in there and find that subscription url when you get it copy it this website's nice, they even give you a little how-to video. But if you don't have that, go back to your Outlook web calendar, you'll click the Add Calendar, and then when you get a subscription link, you can subscribe, pop it in there, and then you can pick, you can name it, you can add the color, you can add where you want to display it, and then import that in. What you'll get, and I already did it, so I'll show you, is that it shows up down here. Here's my local school district calendar. Let me uncheck my sports calendar there. And here I can see spring break and all these activities at the different schools in the district. So probably I wanna go to just my school building, not the whole district calendar, because this is pretty busy, but that's a way you can do it. Once you have it downloaded, to your web version, it does show up in your uh, full-blown desktop version of Outlook from there. So hope you like that one. Uh, I'm Dawn Monroe. Have a great day.